Hey, what game are you playing? Uh, just some PUBG Mobile. It's like the hottest thing right now. It's pretty fun. How about you? Uh, what are you playing over there? Oh, <laughs> ah, nothing. I'm just playing some PUBG non-mobile. <laughs> Nice power cord, nerd. The fuck, man? Don't gotta be mean. The Core P90TG from Thermaltake sports an open air design and a prism shaped body surrounded by 5mm thick tempered glass for a spectacular view from any angle. A trio of compartments house full size hardware and expansive support for custom water cooling, all of which can be shown off vertically, horizontally, or even on your wall. To learn more, click the link in the description for more info. So as you guys might expect, today I'll be putting together a miniature PC gaming setup. Not necessarily because it's practical or even a good idea, but because I can. I've routed up a special list of hardware to help me along my fun size journey, starting with the Intel NUC, a mini PC fitted with a 7th gen Intel Core i5-7260U processor with two cores, four threads, and a max turbo frequency of 3.4 gigahertz. This NUC is a bare bones model, so we'll be adding our own storage and memory, including an eight gigabyte SODIM kit of Crucial Ballistic Sport DDR4 at 2400. Our drive is the Samsung 960 Pro, which is totally overkill for our needs, but it's the only 500 gig M.2 SSD I actually had on hand, so into the NUC it goes. Since a tiny setup calls for tiny peripherals, I picked up the iUniker five inch capacitive touchscreen a popular choice for the Raspberry Pi crowd. Powered by micro USB, the display boasts an 800 by 480 resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate, and a full-sized HDMI input. We'll be connecting it to the NUC with a flat HDMI cable and a right angle HDMI adapter just to make our connection look a bit cleaner. My keyboard of choice was a Bluetooth model from EC Technology that folds out to be just large enough to fit my fingers on those WASD keys. It features three channel pairing for on the fly switching between three connected devices, and the switches are surprisingly tactile for such a keyboard. Now naturally, a gamer is only as good as his mouse, so today I'm going to suck more than usual. While the Logitech M187 is, in my opinion, the weakest link in the group, $9 still gets you a super portable pointer with left and right clicks, a scroll wheel, and a 2.4 GHz wireless connection via the included USB receiver. Finally, it wouldn't be a battle station without the sounds of war. So here we have the Kinevo ZX100, which delivers decent sound quality for its size, great battery life, and a built-in 8th inch cable to avoid any audio video sync issues during our gameplay. And that is our pocket-sized PC gaming setup. I'll drop links to everything here in the description if you guys are interested, but without further ado, let's see if this thing actually works. All right, it's all hooked up. This was a great idea. Look at, look at all the little icons. They're so cute. I have a strong feeling that we can run CSGO, so we're gonna start with that. And uh, we might try another game, assuming that this doesn't immediately fail. I do have fraps running, so we have a frame counter in the top left corner there, so you guys can actually see what kind of performance we're getting in game. So I'm gonna go into my video settings here, and you know what? It's it's actually a pretty crisp screen, surprisingly. Like, I feel so far away from the screen because all the text is really tiny, but I can read it perfectly fine. It's super sharp, and it looks like we are running at the native resolution of 800 by 480. Auto settings have deemed this NUC capable of running CSGO at anywhere from very low to high settings, okay? I'm gonna play with some bots, because uh, I'll feel too bad if I'm actually on anyone's team. Loading up into dust too. For the record, this mouse would be perfect for like a three-year-old child. But that's it. Oh, we're in the game! We're hovering at around 66 FPS. Oh, it's just j jumping all over the place, depending on where we're looking, of course. Now we're at in the, in the low hundreds. It's actually pretty darn smooth. Is that a, is that a guy? Oh, oh, first kill on the mini PC, glorious. It's kind of difficult knowing who my friends are because they're so small. Hey, stop it. Oh, oh, headshot. The headshots are way harder with this monitor. I'm not feeling it yet, but I would imagine that gaming on this setup for a long period of time would result in severe eye fatigue. Oh, and there I go, it's, it's the setup's fault. I do wish the keyboard had some rubber feet to keep it from sliding around. When things get intense, I tend to blah! I would love to bring this to a Starbucks and just watch people's reactions. I'm sure it would turn a lot of heads and provoke a lot of questions. Like, 
Does he have any friends? So honestly, guys, we're getting anywhere from 60 to 100 plus FPS right now at, uh, once again, 800 by 480 resolution. Not too bad. Ooh, let's try oping. I bet I'd be a great op on a miniature setup. And sure enough, I am! So this probably isn't as convenient as a laptop, I'll admit. But it's way funner. Ooh! Ooh! Dropping like flies! All right, we won, because we're awesome. Let's, uh, let's switch gears here. See if this thing can handle some doom. All right, so our Iris Plus graphics are doing a pretty decent job here at medium settings. We're getting in the mid 40s right now, guys. 40s to 50s, very, very playable. No one should fall apart that easily. You guys need to drink more milk. You know, this setup is actually, I have to give it credit. It's a lot nicer to game on than you might expect. And I think that's probably why I haven't said anything in like the last minute or two. Cause I'm just, I'm actually kind of immersed in this game right now. I got grenades, let's do this. Yeah. Thank God this mouse has a scroll wheel, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to throw a nade at you. Ooh, you ugly. You ugly. Man, this totally beats out mobile gaming. Who even needs phones these days with a setup like this? Come on, Clash of Clans, step aside. Candy Crush, you've been crushed. This is the future of gaming, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting a little cramp in my finger. Ooh, I need a drink, hold on. Sorry, guys. Okay, we're good. Okay, I think we have destroyed every tiny demon in sight. So I'm gonna call it for now. This has been quite an experience uh, and really a big surprise. It's the biggest little surprise I've received in a long time. Just how fun and enjoyable this was. Uh, definitely exceeded my expectations, so very cool. If you guys would like to see any more content, about this miniature setup moving forward. If you have any creative ideas, let me know in the comments. I'd be totally open to it. Apart from that, guys, toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. You can also follow us on Floatplane if you want to watch our content a week early without ads. I'll put a link for that in the video description. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next video.